It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Did Valsoft lose the bet on NextEra? I'm thinking they sure as hell did. Valsoft, the private equity group that bought NextEra about a year ago. NextEra, formerly known as BEI Services. What a great company. I was a big fan of NextEra. I had Wes McCarter, their founder and CEO, on the end of the day with Ray many times. They were a great company. They were helping dealers modify behaviors to give better service experiences to end users. They were helping dealerships be more profitable, more efficient in the service deliverable. And ladies and gentlemen, what happened when Valsoft bought NextEra? Well, they put them under the leadership of the people running MPS Monitor, a DCA tool company. And as soon as that happened, I was like, this is crazy. The motives aren't going to be the same. That was truly my belief. I even said, hey, we got to find someone that the people that are looking for service improvements, a place they can go because next era is just going to turn into a DCA tool. It'll be lumped into MPS Monitor. It'll all be one thing and it'll all be a focus around DCA tools. It won't be a focus around helping dealers be more profitable and more efficient changing behaviors in the service department. Thankfully, I found Pros Elite and I had Jerry Newberry come on the show and I'm hoping that a lot of people that were on next era left and went over to Pros Elite. Hopefully, they're migrating as we speak. Brings up a good question. How many Next Era customers are left on the platform? How many MPS Monitor customers are left on the platform? How many employees are left? Ladies and gentlemen, since Valsoft bought Next Era, the founder and the CEO left the day they bought them. That's expectable. Companies are built to be sold. They sold the company. Congratulations to Wex McCarter and his family. That was a great deal for them to be able to sell the company. But it was like two days later, they fire the second in charge. They fire him. You're out of here. And then they take the CTO and they turn him into the COO. I heard that the CO recently left. We all know that field reps left. So ladies and gentlemen, I think it's safe to say that the brain trust over there at Next Era is gone. The brain trust is gone. But of course, the people running the company at MPS Monitor, they don't care about the brain trust at Next Era because it's never been about services for them. It's been about a DCA tool. That's my belief. It was my belief a year ago, and it's still my belief. And if you look at the behavior that's gone on with Valsoft, Nextair, MPS Monitor, a company called Obreon Americas, there's a lot of drama going on, ladies and gentlemen. And at the end of the day, and I said it before, I believe Valsoft came into our industry based on fantasies, based on DCA fantasies. And they didn't do enough due diligence. And one day, Valsoft will wake up to that reality and you'll see a correction, I'm sure. And in the meantime, I strongly suggest that all my friends quit chasing DCA fantasies. Our industry doesn't need a new DCA tool. It sure as hell doesn't, ladies and gentlemen. We're consolidating. The end users are using our products less and less. We have other things we need to be focused on. I saw this post out there by the CEO of MPS Monitor, and they're looking for a regional director. Let me just read this. As we move towards the future integration of the two platforms, MPS Monitor and NextEra into a single customer-focused SaaS platform maximized by BI and AI technologies. So they're going to move them together as one, just like I predicted a year ago. But it's not going to be about delivering better services to end users. It's going to be about a DCA tool. And they're going to claim that, yeah, this DCA tool is going to help us deliver better services. And we're going to be able to project when things are going to happen. And we're going to show up two days before we need to be there. Blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, it's a DCA tool. It's a DCA tool. I, you know, some of these folks, when they talk about their DCA tool technologies, I, 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 it just amazes me. They're going to manage the assets and everything in everybody's office. They're going to change IT services for the whole entire world. They're going to be the internet of everything and everything technology. They're going to do subscriptions on every single thing. Pretty soon, the DCA people are going to say, we're going to be able to start your electric car right from the DCA tool. Get ready for that. I'm sure it's coming. I saw another post out there. This was from the president of Obreon Americas. And he had, he had went to an event. And this is just the PS part of the post. Above that was all the stuff that the DCA tool does that he's promoting now in his software. And you know, these folks are like on the merry-go-round. These, I'm telling you, these things do so much, it's amazing. But he was talking about the exclusivity because a lot of people are asking. Because Obreon had the exclusivity to sell MPS Monitor until MPS Monitor allowed a company called Predictive Insights to sell MPS Monitor. And Predictive Insights was selling the EKM DCA tool technology, which is owned by TD Senex. So ladies and gentlemen, you've seen the episodes. 
But I, I, I just got to, uh, uh, there's too much drama involved with these companies. It's kind of nutty. You got the lawsuit. You got the folks over and over on America's calling it the DCA cartel behavior. <laughs> okay. I mean, the data is being stored in a different country. Who has jurisdiction? Where the lawsuit's at? Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a question I want to ask the folks over at Predictive Insights. When will Valsoft buy Predictive Insights? I'm thinking pretty soon. I mean, I think they're the perfect candidate, right? They're still buying into the DCA fantasies. I'm sure it won't be long before, maybe it's going on right now, where the Predictive Insights folks are trying to get everybody off the EKM software onto the MPS software, monitor software so they can sell a company to Valsoft. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Time will tell. Let me ask you all a question. Who is NextEra selling data to? Who are they selling data to? NextEra had what we called world stats. And when I spent some time with NextEra, that was really valuable information. It was aggregated information. It was blind data, but the data was very, very important to like OEMs. There was information they could get out of this data to understand how particular models work and stuff. It was great data. And the data was blind. But folks... A lot of stuff has happened just in the last couple of years. And with the power of AI, you better know where the hell your data is and what it's being used for. Because even though there could be blind data, well, AI can see better than us. So maybe they got better vision and they can see what we think is blind. Think about that. Can AI see what we think is blind data? Can they see something in that data that we can't see? I, of course they can. It's only common sense to think that. How much of your dealership data are you willing to allow others to profit from? If you're going on these platforms and your data is becoming part of this collective and that collective is valuable to people, what do you get out of it? Do you get the services for free so they can take the data they're getting and sell that off to other people? Or worse, Help enable a fierce competitor to understand how your dealership fits in the landscape. This is important. This is about AI. AI is looking at data. And they're trying to figure out how that data fits in a landscape. That could be a geography, a geographic landscape. Just use your imagination, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, you can't even imagine what AI can imagine. My last slide. Future home of print industry fantasies. You'll see the graveyard. That first stone is called the all-covered family plot. Inside there, we got Forza. Forza was born in September of 2013 on a stage in Arizona. And ladies and gentlemen, I put that damn thing in a hearse and I drove it to the cemetery a couple episodes ago. And I thought that maybe our industry would start holding accountable software packages that were promises of everything. Because there's a rumor out there that Valsoft, along with MPS Monitor and NextEra, are going to create the new ERP system for the imaging channel. And I'm thinking, well, that'll probably maintain a rumor. And then next year's ECS meeting, the one out in the desert, they'll stand on stage and they'll make the announcement, we're bringing the new ERP system that's going to change the imaging channel forever. Because it seems to me that's where ERP systems are born, out in the desert. Because that's the place they don't allow anybody to go to ask questions. <laughs> okay? Think about it. Valsoft family plot over here, you got Euroform. Well, they killed that off in 2023. MPS Monitor, when's it going to get killed off? Next Era, when's it going to get killed off? I'm pretty sure they're going to kill off Next Era this year. They'll roll it all into MPS Monitor. That'll be the end of that. It'll be the DCA tool. It'll be all about a DCA tool. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, I believe sooner or later the money's going to wake up in our industry. And when the money wakes up and realizes that none of these fantasies are coming true, you're going to start pulling back on the money. I believe we'll see the HP subscriptions on a headstone too. This whole nonsense about these HP subscriptions, billions and millions and millions and millions of subscriptions being sold and all this crap. All this technology came too late for the print industry. And those of you that believe we're going to take DCA tool technologies and reinvent the whole entire world, come up with better e-commerce platforms and all this stuff. It's all fantasy. And fantasies end up in the graveyard. And everybody watching me knows this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo. And the status quo I'm talking about right now is chasing fantasies without substantiating any of them. As long as our industry allows itself to be sold all these products and services from stages, 
but no one has the ability to question the reality of any of these software or services or hold them accountable. They're fantasies. See you all tomorrow.